Hello. Let's evolve. What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is it is uh, uh, we're going to create some evolving drones using some interesting ideas. I think they're interesting. Of course, you are free to think what you like. Um, for this, uh, we're going to do some sort of data bending, and then we're going to use some quasi-granular synthesis techniques. So I'm going to open uh, Audacity, which is free. You know that. Everyone knows about Audacity. And I'm going to import um, the wrong kind of file format and get it to encode it into a sound. Now, this is going to really, really hurt. So I advise that you, uh, you know, watch your levels because this will kill you. Um, but that's what we want, isn't it? So we're going to go to file. We're going to go import and we're going to import some raw data. It'll bring up uh, uh, this little uh, dialogue and I'm going to pick deliberately the wrong type of file i'm going to pick uh let's say uh hey what about a um an ableton live file drums.aif.asd that's a sample analysis file uh, so every time you import a sound into ableton it creates an analysis file so i'm going to import that and see what it does it might be shit i don't know let's find out um we need to use the ULAW encoding, so other YouTube videos tell me. I think ALAW works as well. Now I'm going to use ULAW, and we're just going to go import, bang! What have we got? I mean, that was special, but oh, now I'm dead. Um, also, it's not really, it wasn't really what I wanted. I'm going to try again. I'm going to try import raw data. Uh, let's try a different, uh, what about um, a JPEG? Uh, JPEGs didn't really work and too well in rehearsal. What about an HTML file? Let's try an HTML file. Uh, ULAW encoding. Off you go. Oh my God. What is this? Is there a volume in this? No. Fuck the volume. Yeah, I mean, it's still special, but it's just not... I'm just... I really... I know what I want. I just... I, um... Gosh. Uh, JPEGs... Uh, uh, flam, flam. Let's try a Max for Live device file. Here we go. This is an Ableton Max patch. Let's encode that into some audio, see what it does. Here we go. Whoa. Is it me or is that like a tune? That's a tune, isn't it? Wow, my, my data bent computer just wrote a piece of music. Anyway, so I'm going to save that. I'm going to export that as a piece of... Uh, I've actually got a Dropbox folder where I've been making loads of these. It's been really good fun. Um, and I'm just going to call that... Uh, I'm going to call that uh, data bend for YouTube, you mothers. Okay. Yes, that's fine. Thank you. And um, we're going to close Audacity. And I'm uh, going to bring up our good chum here. And uh, I need to go and find that file now. Where did I put it? Dropbox uh, glitches. Uh, data bend for YouTube, you mothers. Put that there. Let's have a look at it. I mean, oh my God, look at it. Look at that. What is it done? <sighs> okay, so now we're going to drop that into our delicious sampler. Uh, hello. Oh, I haven't got one in there yet. Sorry. Uh, sampler. Let's drop it in there. Here we go. We're nearly there. This 
this is all experimental like you know i i have a rough idea that this is going to work it might not but then that's what it's all about i mean it's the worst sound ever that's ever been made by anyone i should go to prison for this Okay, so we're going to loop it now. We're going to use the forward sustain mode in the looping, whatever. We're going to set a really tight loop like this. In fact, even, even, even tighter than that. That'll do. Better crossfade. Now we want to move, <clears throat> excuse me, slowly through the sound to create a enveloping, uh, you know, rich harmonic uh, tsunami of sound and and wonder and curiosity. We're going to do that. I just went all Russell Brand just then. Why did uh, remind me never to do that ever again? So <clears throat> we're going to use LFO two in our modulation tab. We're going to route that to the loop start turn that up that's a little fast we want to go really slow look at it go okay so i mean that's quite a long sound and it kind of gets quite interesting here isn't it so why don't we actually move it to here Okay, change the tuning. Let's go actually even further to this bit here. See what happens. Might be dreadful. Look at, look what's going on. Look at all this. So many harmonics in there. Lovely stuff. So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of it really, isn't it? Um, Maybe I'll just chuck in a little bit of uh, compression here. Make it a bit more friendly. And, uh, oh, I guess I could filter out. A little quiet, let's turn it up a little. So yeah, we're getting, it's, it's aggressive, but at the same time, it's, it's inviting because it's just, there's so much going on. Um, let's try the uh, triangle. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go over here. Go here. And of course, if we change the loop size, we get a much more fine. That's too fine. And it sounds a bit nasty with chords. But with bass, pretty good. Aggressive. Let's try over here again, as where all the excitement is. No, that's dreadful. Goodness. Exciting stuff. We could also bring in some of this FM uh, modulation to the sample, see if that wields anything. 
No, that's kind of crap, actually. No, I'm bored of that. No, that didn't work. But this sounds interesting. Anything? got something out of that. <laughs> um, see you next time.